A good friend of Oregon passed away recently, David Fronmeyer. He was a legislator. He was the attorney general in Oregon for many years. He ran for governor and he was the president of the University of Oregon. But to me, he was just a good guy and a good friend, just like to a lot of people in this town. When I found out I had prostate cancer, David was one of the first people who called me. Um, he was not talking publicly about his, but he talked to me for about an hour on the phone to calm my nerves and make me feel better. And at that point in my life, that's what I needed. So tonight, um, in his honor, I want to run the story of my prostate cancer and what happened because I hope that someone out there will be encouraged by this as I was encouraged by his phone call and taking the time to just talk to me. When the phone rings and your doctor informs you you have cancer, life forever changes. I work in the television video production industry. I do online videos and decided after a lot of thinking to make my cancer very public. So here's the thing. I have cancer, prostate cancer, and I'm just shocked, just kind of stunned and numb and scared and afraid. My diagnosis came in January of 2010. I didn't want to die, but I also, you know, to be honest, I didn't want to lose my ability to have an erection. I mean, that's a big concern for a guy. I'm not afraid this is going to kill me. Prostate cancer is really treatable. I'm afraid of the process. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to live with cancer. In my late 40s, my PSA jumped. At first, the PSA was two, then four, and that's when the biopsies began. It took five years and five biopsies to find cancer. My PSA was hovering at 20 when the cancer was discovered. That was the horrible process. We, we, we felt so alone while we were looking for a treatment. And I remember we'd go to doctor appointment after doctor appointment, and every time we'd come out, we'd just feel, we'd just sit there and cry all the way home. The internet was even worse. The most talked about treatments always came with a host of possible side effects. Your temptation is to move quickly. You hear cancer and just want to get it out of your body. I resisted the temptation and took several months finding the treatment that was right for me, and I'm so glad I did. I wish in those early days we'd had a team of specialists like those at the Willamette Valley Cancer Institute to talk with us about all the options, not just the usual treatments. So you can't rely on friends and relatives or other men in your life who've had prostate cancer and do what they did. You really have to go through this process yourself and figure out what's the best treatment for you or whether you really want to get treated at all at this point. Cancer did change my life, but not in the ways I thought it would. We chose a treatment that worked for us. Yes, this is not just your decision. Your wife needs to be part of that process. I think attitude is a huge part of cancer treatment, survival, and moving on. I didn't have to fight cancer, I had to fight Rick Dancer, me. Surviving cancer did have lasting effects on our lives. We discovered how much stronger we are and how short time really is when you think about it. We now do triathlons, our first half marathon. We cycle Oregon and try things we never dreamed of trying before. I'm not trying to glamorize cancer, there is nothing beautiful about it. But cancer let me stare death in the face and then walk away. There is something powerful in the gift of survival. Guys, the best advice I can give after going through this process is don't rush into anything. First of all, determine whether you need to be treated with your different doctors that you're going to go visit. If you do decide on treatment, look at the side effects and make sure you're comfortable with what's going to happen or what could happen. And then remember, you will get through this. Life is good now. My PSA is down to zero for the first time in a decade. My side effects from the treatment are minimal. I look back at this video and remember that day like it was yesterday. That's kind of where we're at. So keep praying and I thank you. Uh, it'll get better. It'll get better. It'll get better. I was right. It is getting much better.